Hi. So we are on our way right now to Badr and we have stopped at a place called Spang which is <clears throat> which is about I think three hours from Leh and we're just having some delicious veg momo and yeah after having the tea we will continue on our journey there's some lovely people here they own their own restaurants uh, mostly people from this this area uh, Changtang area but now the season is about to end because it's already September so I think there's less tourists but uh, it's a very quite peaceful place and after having our refreshments we will continue on our journey Yeah, this is not the same. And what's the same? Yeah, yeah. Going to Leh or you're going from Leh? Uh, I'm going to Leh. I was in Zoskar. Okay. I am on my way to a village called Father, okay. which is uh, far from here. Okay. And then I'll also have uh, teachings in the Tao. So okay. teaching commitments with the people. Okay. So teaching meditation. And this, uh, I'll be back on the 30th. So you're based in Leh? Yeah, I'm from Leh. Okay. Okay, so your, how long will uh, the journey take? Um, I think it will still take about 5-6 hours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. So you will be done by the day? Yeah, we yeah. will be done by the day. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> This is to put around your neck. Yeah, I pray that your journey will be safe mm. and that you achieve wisdom and enlightenment. Yeah. Wish you lots of happiness and safety. So we have resumed our journey. We are 
on uh, we are way on the road between Spang and Sechu. Uh, Sechu means basically golden water. I think it is attributed to the fact that uh, maybe there is a spring water or a beautiful glacial st uh, stream. Ladakh is quite dry. It is a high plateau, so we are dependent on water. So most of the time, or not most of the time, but sometimes a place of a village or a valley is named after water. They give them like poetic names. And this stretch, this particular stretch between Spang and Sechu is the worst when we go to Himachal, when we go to Lahol, when we go to Manali, when we go to, you know, uh, to, to different states through this road. Uh, but I really have to give credit to the administration that they've done a fantastic job. Uh, they're widening the road. It used to be like nightmarish. I mean, just literally nightmarish. But now the road is very wide. As you can see, I'll turn the camera around and you will be able to see. Yeah, so the road is very wide. Uh, they haven't put the tarmac yet, the black topping. I Hopefully they'll do it soon. But you see all this, these uh, transportation trucks coming from Manali, carrying cargo. Um, yeah, so the road is very wide. It is a pleasure to be driving on this road. As you can see the road widening work is going on and it has been very well done i think by next year um hopefully most of this will be this will be widened if not black topped uh, one of my society members one of my followers went to request the uh, machine operator to let us pass is called the land of passes and as you can see we just crossed another pass this one is called Nakila and after this I think is Baralacha I think we have one called Lachungla and then Baralacha which is infamous for being frozen for a long period and for extreme snowfall um, and one very funny thing, at the end of this stretch, we'll be descending and that descent is called Bais Mord in Hindi, which means 22 curves or 22 turns. It has 22 turns after, we re after which you reach the valley. We are taking a shortcut, very interesting, actually very doable. You know, this car is four-wheel drive, but even with a, even for a car with two-wheel drive, it is doable. And yep, I think we skipped a few curves. Done. And you see those cars coming from there, and we have already reached here. Boom. Done. They're not gonna kill them. And then straight on, we will enter another off road. And if you see the bonnet, yes, can get on the bottom. Yep. Now, the thing with the big SUVs is that because of the big bonnet, you don't see uh, what's ahead. So you have to see the road first and then drive, which is quite challenging. Yeah, and I think Kuno, I think the two cars with us, the rest of our followers, and they decided not to take the off-road. I think now we are about to start descending the famous 22 curves that I mentioned uh, 
बाईस मोड़ एंड सम इवन कॉल इट जलेबी रोड बिकॉज इट लुक्स लगी जलेबी नो दस इंडियन स्वीट डिश आई ट्राई टू काउंट इट लास्ट टाइम बट देन या आई थिंक देर इफ नॉट मोर द एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी टू curves 22 turns and down there we have beautiful valley after which we will reach Sirchu so as you will notice there are heaps and heaps of water bottles and legend has it that someone i think it was a truck driver or someone who was traveling Uh, through here um i think a car broke down or something and he or she was very thirsty and died died without getting water died of dehydration and people say that you know his or her spirit i think it's a he uh usually mentioned as he his spirit still wanders and begs for water that's why people throw water bottles here I don't know how real that is. I just don't think it's a good idea to throw water bottles on the side of the road and to pollute the whole place. But well, that's the story. So we just reached a place called Sirchu that I was mentioning. I'm having a Maggie. It's delicious. I think the green chili is a little bit too much, but otherwise it's very tasty. Uh, the others are inside. They are nothing. Having some tea. Um, I was a bit hungry. I don't know why. And uh, yeah, from now on, to reach Darcha, where people are waiting, I think it's going to take about one hour fifty something minutes. So we're not very far away from Darcha. I think we're going to stay. Did you get that duxa garan? What's that? Did you get that? I got that nice duxa garan. Darcha koron. Acha. Darcha yok koron pa. To jispe yok koron pa. Oh, how go go? The kilo ante mana. And basically, that's it. I had a good journey. The roads are really amazing. Everybody is really shocked at how the roads have improved. You know, because we grew up traveling on these roads. I myself traveled first time on this road when I was uh, what? Eight years old in 1992. It took us like two or three days to reach Himachal to my monastery. But today it took us like what? Only uh, five hours, I think, to reach here, which is crazy. Yeah. Anyway, the sun is very intense. The atmosphere is very thin. We are at a very high altitude, so that's why I'm covering my uh, my head. Let me just take a look how far how high we are. Okay, so it is four two nine zero. I think you can see it here. Four two nine zero, four thousand two hundred ninety meters above sea level. Okay. Yeah, 
Zaina. Tigina. Ming Jing. Three. Yang Zum. Yang Su. Oh, yeah. Jim Mingo Peter Jira. Three young. Yang Su, Yang Suena. Yang Su, 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 Yeah, that's right. 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 That's Tak tahu lagi awak rasa macam tak tahu tu jangan tak. Kena ingin sungguh. Nanti lo sungguh apa? Dorji tengok sungguh tak? Besar. Jaga sungguh tak? Masuk. Masuk. Tu guna kerja. Guna le. Le. Tak tahu le yang mulut tak? Tak tahu le. 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 ちょっとね、みんじ、みんじ、ロザンツ、あ、ちょっと、いや、ロザンツもあるから、ちょっと、できそうな、なるほど、もうまとね、なるほど、どんでそうするの、はい、ちょっとみんな、だったらみんもま
and by mistake I drove a little bit until there and we had to turn back because it was shut so for now we have to take this bridge and all these bridges are very light so only one vehicle allowed well the view is beautiful as usual I think these are where the laborers have set up the camps So we have this beautiful, very small, pristine lake um, at Baralacha. After this, when we descend from over there, then we are going to approach uh, Lahol. I think we are starting with Zingzing Bar and then Darcha. big bridge being constructed this one is gigantic and the crane I think is doing something so we have to wait I think there's somebody over there yeah I don't think he's in a very good I don't think he's in a very safe place I'm sure he doesn't have any harness or any kind of safety uh, precaution So we are continuing from Zingzing Bar um, and uh, the people from uh, Darcha I think they are here for reception I think there are one two three four five vehicles 
with uh, quite a few people and when I was having tea I could hear some music and I was wondering what it was I thought somebody was playing just uh, music in a car or something turns out that they were dancing you know out of joy out of happy happiness uh, also as a sort of uh, welcome which is very nice so anyway that's it I think there are more people waiting uh, in Darcha we're going to have some meal yeah there's a lot of eating involved you know uh, it's nice the food is always good people are always nice the weather is clean I cannot complain you know it's like basically heaven uh, Kelong, this area, it's called Layun. Um, they write Lahol, which is actually not the right pronunciation. It should be Layun, not Lahol. La Lahol, I think, you know, after, after, I don't know, I think people, after a long time, people kind of, you know, they change the way you say the name. But it's not Lahol, it's Layun. Layun means um, paradise, uh, abode of the gods, yeah? Where the gods live, Layun. So it's a beautiful place, beautiful people, beautiful food, beautiful music. Uh, so yeah, it's so nice to be here. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. I seriously have no words to describe the beauty of this place. Well, you can see it in the people and the way they behave, um, the way they enjoy life, the way they celebrate every single moment of their existence. You can see it. So we just left Darcha, uh, we had a meal there, lovely people and uh, yeah so we are on our way to a place called Tandi, I think it's about uh, 50 minutes from here, from Darcha, roughly one hour and then uh, sorry my nose is I think it's I think it's an allergy because of the greenery I have a slight uh, allergy to pollen so yeah we're going to Dundee and we're going to stay the night there and tomorrow morning I think around six o'clock we will depart for Padar and I just calculated on Google Maps Padar is actually quite far it's about I think eight hours seven eight hours but then you know lunch tea etc i think it's going to take us about 10 hours so yeah that's it so right now we are um we are going on our way uh, the weather is good it is not very cold uh but i think now it's going to get cooler i think the sky looks beautiful uh you can see the moon um right behind the mountain looks lovely the sky is a very beautiful color 